thought we'd mix it up and we'd go over and have some fun in expanded format. It is a format that I typically actually am visiting usually often this time of the year. It's sad to say that Pokemon regionals and big events aren't happening, but uh, let's go ahead and talk a little bit about expanded format, the difference between expanded and expanded and standard format. So there's always two different formats that are going on in the Pokemon trading card game. Most common tournaments uh, are found, actually I think it's right on the Pokemon, on the main Pokemon title. This will be a good time to make sure everything's up and running on both um, on both uh, uh, on Twitch and YouTube. So right now, standard format are all of these expansions over here. So in standard format, there's always a select amount. So there's certain cards you can use competitively in the Pokemon trading card game. Probably one of the most common questions I get asked, can you use any trading card that's ever been printed in the Pokemon trading card game? And the short answer is no. The reason why they do that is because it helps keep the, the um, format healthy. So if one strategy ever gets too strong, I'm looking at you ADP, eventually it will rotate out. So this card this time next year will not be playable probably in standard format. At, most likely, I, I actually ADP. Everything from some and moon will rotate out but expanded format goes back further expanded format cards go all the way back to black and white era which is just awesome when you get to use old cards it is fantastic one um so there is a story behind this so i currently have a radicate uh list that i have loved over the summer usually this time a year um our our regional one of our biggest tournaments in the area i live in i live in the portland oregon area uh one of the biggest tournaments that we have yearly is our regional event we are so lucky that we have such an awesome pokemon community where i live um, and our big tournament is usually a expanded regional or has been. I think one time I can remember it being in standard format, but typically it has been, uh, it has normally been a uh, expanded regional. So usually anytime from about June through November, I'm usually playing in expanded format, which is really fun. I get to use cards that I don't ever get to use other times of the year. So this summer I went over to that format and actually one more backstory to this too. Um, this was, I think it was pretty, Pretty, pretty close to this list four years ago. This was one of the first decks. I can't. I, I don't even know if this was the exact list. I could find out. I think I brought a list similar to this. The format's completely changed, but I have always been a huge fan of Radicate. Radicate Break uh, was a deck I used. Uh, I think probably in one of my first regionals. I went like three, three, three. Um, but then this deck from my, me got new life into it. So Radicate Break allows you to put damage counters on your opponent until they have 10 HP left. We'll get into why that's awesome in a little bit. But there was always another Radicate I had glanced at, but it just never could quite be good enough. It was a stage one Radicate that basically had the same attack as Radicate Break. Um, but in on it wasn't unbroken bonds which one got we did we get triple acceleration in yeah in unbroken bonds we got triple acceleration energy so all of a sudden i started looking at this radicate a ton i played around with it a little bit and I almost wanted to bring it to a regional. I just didn't quite. There was a couple parts of it that were missing from making this deck really, really good. Um, and we kind of finally got that with the brokenness of how Scoop Up Net is in expanded format. Let's go ahead and jump into some matches. I am a huge fan of this deck. I had a, such a fun time playing with it over summer. Um, and we'll get to see it in action. It absolutely destroys tag team decks uh, or any two prizer deck. There are some things, of course, it auto, -loss auto losses to in expanded format just because there are you literally can't attack for everything that is in expanded format because there's just so much out there i really do like expanded format um that's not a popular opinion by any means a lot of people don't like uh expanded format um if we weren't in the time we are in right now i do think we'll be seeing a ban on scoop up net at some point but that's just my opinion uh let's go ahead and jump into some expanded format matches i want to mix i want to mix things up a little bit um and have some fun, have some fun with this, uh, with this deck. I'm gonna have a fun time revisiting this. Uh, so we'll go ahead and get into the overall strategy, uh, the overall strategy of this deck. Um, basically, you set up with, we try to set up with Radicate as fast as possible and get that triple boost on him. And there are a lot of cool techs that I have in this list. Um, scoop up net to Shaman. It is probably one of the most busted combos I have ever seen in the Pokemon training card game. Go ahead and get started. I think. Sweet. Go 
cool. It's my turn. Let's go ahead and kick things off here. So the first thing I'm going to go for, uh, expand format. It's super... Okay, so this is a tough matchup. I don't think I will come uh, across as... Uh, winning this match, but there's about a 30% chance my experience playing against this matchup that I have won. I do have a couple techs that have really that really helped me uh, kind of even out this match. So let's go ahead and start. The first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna wanna set up with some um, with some of uh, some Radic Rattatus back on, onto our bench. Uh, let's pull that Jirajji, and I gotta check to see if Winona's there. That's good. Um, like I said, I haven't played with this deck in weeks. I was playing with this deck a lot over the summer. Uh, this is really important that I have this here. Let's go ahead and see. Let's go ahead and grab Winona. And then we're going to go ahead and start setting. Oh yeah, it's my first It's my first turn. I didn't realize that. A um, couple options I have here. Uh, I think since I have this shrine in my hand, it's kind of risky because he could knock this Shushane out in one turn. But... I'm going to go ahead and put down the Silent Lab because I can get rid of the next turn with this Shrine and I'm gonna double check to see how the live stream is looking right now. It's not coming over in the quality it was on YouTube. It's looking good over on... It's looking good over on Twitch right now. Okay, they were able to get it off right off the bat there. Um, so we'll hopefully get into another matchup. It probably was in my best interest to play this down. Um, but we'll go ahead and play this matchup. It's just not just getting me to... There you go. That's the link I want to be at right now. Um, I'm going to go ahead and still play this out. Because there's still a chance. Let's see. Tata, do I want to set three out? Yeah, I am going to set three out. Cool. Hearing it come over on YouTube now. The video looks fine to me. Oh. Cool. Apologize if anyone's made any comments yet. I don't think so. <laughs> Probably hasn't happened. Uh let's see if we can kind of recover from this so now they'll have to get um evolve this guy to be able to attack let's see what we can do here i should have made him work a little bit harder for this uh i don't even know if teammates was the right answer there he started off with one of the toughest matchups i can have against his and against uh Oh, hey, uh, Noi King, uh, Noi King 13, I'm super sorry I didn't see your comment there. I was doing some stuff over there. Uh, thank you for joining the live stream. I hope you're still, I hope you're still over here. Uh, two viewers. Uh, the second one is cool. We're just doing some fun expanded stuff tonight. I wanted to mix it up and not play, um, yeah. Now's a good time. I am going to end them down. I think it's a good time to do that. Super close to a knockout. There's a, there's a chance. There's actually a really good chance we can get a knockout this turn. And if I can just hit a Hypnotoxic Laser... Um, Scoop of Nine, you discard a couple things here. 
can dig a little bit deeper still. Uh, I know what we'll do. Discard those two things to get back a scoop of nah. And go ahead, scoop up that Jirachi, um, that Shaman, to try to draw a little bit more. Just need to hit, hit his Hypnotoxic Laser, and then we are in business. So I'm going to keep digging for it. I want to hold on to that uh, Great Catcher. I don't even know if I'll need it this game. Get what my line is of Pokemon. Uh, no hypnotoxic laser. Out of all that, out of all that draw power, there we still haven't hit what we need yet. Um, I don't know. I don't think I can dig any further right now. Um, we'll just hope that Guzma, uh, like I said, this first match, it's, it's always, it's the first part of the live stream is always me double checking everything to make sure everything's going up on the live stream. There's a chance that that, uh, that that Guzma and Hollis stuck. Cool, they got the ADP in it. So uh, they're going to go grab Knockout here. Probably just start into one more match. Just to see if I can find a slightly better matchup. Crazily enough, it's not impossible to come out on top of this match. I would just have to get really lucky. One, two, one, two. Because he's got to be running out of Silent Labs. No, we're gonna play it out. I'm gonna make him. I'm gonna make him work for it. Cool. This is how we're gonna do this here. Um, field blower away. These two things. Attach here. I think I know how we'll do this. I didn't describe that item. How do I get knockout this turn? Uh, not yet, at least. Uh, cool. I need to hit a hit. I need to hit a hit. No toxic laser this turn. Like I said I haven't played with this deck all summer again, so I'm kind of refreshing myself as to what I have in here. Cool, we finally hit the Hypnotoxic Laser. A little late, but better late than never. At least we get to do this this turn. We don't even have to... I didn't even need to attach down there. That was kind of a waste of attachment, but... Um... guy I gotta pay attention to over there, uh, but let's grab, I know what we're gonna do this turn. If we can't attack this turn, what we are going to do, we're gonna focus on trying to 
uh, kind of make him run out of resources a little bit. Since we're getting towards the bottom of my deck, I'm gonna start hitting my Hypnotoxic lasers and stuff a lot easier. So, I think I have another Shaman prize and stuff, and it's unfortunate I had to use Dowsing Machine. I wasn't paying too much attention, but this matchup is, it is doable. Um, it's hard, but not impossible. Uh, let's go ahead and see what that brings us. Um, because if he knocks this out, then I for sure can get the return knockout. Uh, okay, that's not going to be... I only have two Shrine 2, so if he does bring out the ADP, I kind of do want that Shrine there to potentially knock him out. But if I can start hitting my VS Seekers to get rid of his... That I do want down. Let's see. That's the Valvi's prize. So there was also a lot of prizes this turn. Okay, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go ahead and scoop this matchup so I know that the live stream and stuff's going now and I can see the comments and stuff. We're going to go ahead and just jump straight into another one uh, so I can be a little bit more focused on the match. Let's see. live stream is looking really good right now. I'm just happy about all that. Left. Switch one's over there. I can see. Cool. Let's go ahead and get another match. Really just go back and forth between those comment sections. I have a laptop off to my side so I can try to view the comments and stuff both at the same time simultaneously. Um, like I said, I'm still getting still getting used to doing that. I think I missed out on one viewer, but that's okay. Always more opportunity. Cool. Let's go ahead do another one with this uh, this uh, deck that I absolutely love. I do like. Let's go ahead. I would love to play against something that's like a big tag team to kind of showcase this deck. Uh, that last matchup is is an interesting one. I have come on top of playing against. Um, I actually do have a couple things in this deck to counter uh, to counter playing against a uh, single prize decker. God, why am I dropping? Uh, why am I dropping on Necrozma? Why was I dropping on his name there? Cool. So. When I play against people with this deck, a lot of people, they don't even really know how to play against it because they haven't really seen it too often, uh, which is kind, of, which is also just a huge advantage for me. Um, if people don't know how to play against it or they kind of, un they just kind of straight up underestimate it also because it's like, it's just Rattata, what's that going to do? So uh, that first matchup was good because I was able to refresh. So I know that Savali uh, and type, uh, Savali GX and type, I think it's type no. Both those guys are prized right now. And then I, the other thing I check for is my knockout conditions. I need my hypnotoxic lasers and shrine. But I see those guys there. So let's go ahead and do this. We have that VS Seeker in hand. This is a really strong starting uh, starting hand right now. And then I don't even put out the Jirachi if I don't need to, because uh, he is just uh, don't need to set him out. I don't need to do anything else right now other than pass my turn. And the next year, next turn, we start trying to dig for just a bunch of cards. Tate and Liza, I've not seen that one for a while. Um, I'm surprised that card didn't get any more, more use. So this turn, we actually we have the donk right now because I have teammates in my hand. So what we're going to do, we're going to evolve right here, triple boost acceleration. We get to see. His attack in action. So his attack reads: put damage counters on the defending Pokemon and 